Assalamu alaikum students how are you i hope you will be fine open your books page 68 today we will solve the related exercise of our poem london summer morning part a answer the following questions students these are the questions you are to read all these questions carefully and you are to answer them as well you are to consider your poem as a comprehension paragraph and you are to write the answers of all these questions For example the poet names over 10 jobs list at least 5 and explain what work each job involves so the job of a chimney boy the rattling of milk pails the din of hackney coaches the job of trunk makers the job of knife grinders five jobs i have told you in this way you are to search the answers of all these questions from your Poem. In part A, you are to learn about a part of figures. First is alliteration. What is alliteration? Alliteration use of same sound to begin a number of words that are close together. For example, of summer morning in the sultry smoke, knife grinders, cooper, squeaking cock cutters. Onomatopoeia. Words that sound like the things they are, on that they describe. For example, humming insects, tinkling bells, tune monotonous. After understanding these two terms, you are to answer these questions. Part two: Answer these questions with reference to context. Now, pastry dainties catch the eye minute of humming insects while the lime snail waits to enthrall them. Related questions. Find three words that are linked to the idea of being captured or trapped. These three words are catch, snare, and throw. Who are the pastry dainties? What happens to the humming insects? Part B: The old clothes man cries in tune monotonous while sidelong views the area of his traffic. Now the bag is sillily opened and the half-worn suit. Sometimes the pilfered chair of the base, domestic spoiler, for one half its worth, sinks in the green abyss. Related question is who is shouting and what is he shouting about? Old clothes man is shouting about his clothes. Second question: the following words and phrases create an impression of man. Side long views a sillily pilfered chair. What impression do you get of his character? We feel that the man is cunning and clever. He is going to cheat his buyers. Part C: The image of the suit sinking in a green abyss is an interesting way of showing us that the value of goods goes down once they have been bought. Discuss this passage and work together to come up with an explanation of what the poet is describing in simple English. Here are some helpful sentence openers that you can use if you want to. The second-hand clothes seller. Some of the clothes he sells have been dash by dash. The clothes are sold for once something has been bought its value. Following all these sentence op- openers, we are to make a passage which provide a clarity about all these things. Part B: Working with words. Spelling. Follow these instructions carefully. Read the list of the words below: mouth, dish, room, mug, beaker, glass, bowl. tumbler care of flask bottle decanter flag and cup bucket spoon ladle questions which are related to these words are do you know what each word means students we are to write the meanings of all these words mouth opening dish bowl room usable space or a living space etc what category of things do the words belong to What is the category of all these words? All these words are nouns. Can you think of one word for a class or group that all the words will fit into? Container. All these words can be placed in a class named container. Can you add any words to the list? Many words can be added to this list like saucer, basket, bin, can, box, etc. Make a table of three columns in your notebook. Listen me carefully, students. You are to make three columns in your notebook. 
in first column copy the words in the list in exercise b1 above into the first column you are to copy all these words in the first column which you will draw in your notebook second question in the second write the word which can take the suffix full check in the dictionary the correct spelling of the words in the second column we are to write all these words with a suffix full mouth full dish full room full etc in the third write the plural forms of word plus fulls check in the dictionary the correct spelling of the word mouth fulls dish fulls room fulls this is your activity which you are to do you will do this activity in your notebook suffixes students you know that when we add an affix at the end of a word to make a new word that added affix is known as suffix add ish or y in the following fun f u double n y funny white whitish big bigish streak streaky in this way we are to add suffixes with all these words to make new words solution of all these questions has been attached with your diary thank you